Nice shot from Colby striking the first frame. Colby with a strike. It's still recording though. By the way, Connor's last name is spelled differently. It's W I E. And then it's a double Two N. Yep. And yeah, it's spare. Yes. All right, it's back on. All right, so hopefully that kind of stabilizes now. I think we're already hitting a Wi-Fi jammer for a while there. And who would have a Wi-Fi jammer? Uh, the cops. Really? Yeah. All right. So they can block people from talking outside. Inside the hospital? No, we're good. It's it wouldn't have helped. It's, I think there was, an, there was something was blocking uh, Wi-Fi traffic. Because I was right. losing connection to the camera and to the Wi-Fi. So it looks like we're back now. And the camera is smoothed out. Can you make the red stuff go by? They don't see that. I know, I do. <laughs> Striking the first for Colby. Connor went off the side for the head pin. If you guys did not see that through our technical issues, he went off the side for the head pin in the opening frame and did make it for a spare. So Colby now moves over to 21, going for the coveted opening double. And uh, oh, does not get it. In front. Eight in front of the seven. A large a pool of people around us now. Watching this and the match to our left, which includes Noah Mitchell, I believe. Or Noah Mitchell went down somewhere else. Yeah, Noah Mitchell is on 13 14, and Colby slides by the seven. Open frame, 19 through one. Takes it for 10. This is the quarterfinal round now, down to eight bowlers of the November edition of the Pop Whitten Pro Tour. Uh, it's quarterfinals. So it's eight. Yeah. Quarterfinal? I said that right? Yeah. Round of eight? Quarterfinal. Round of eight. All right. Connor off the side on his spare fill. Only a four count. So, Colby up 19 to 14 after one. Of course, still very early. Connor, a nice oh. shot. Makes the six spinner. Why bother hitting the head pin? Don't, don't laugh. I have eight marks, like one for the I will do my best. I will give you updates on Noah as I can see them. Uh, he is currently losing to Eddie Darling, but it is in the second frame. Yeah, they just started. They just started. Connor, two spares in a row, 24 plus against Colby's 29. Here is his spare fill on 21. Yet to hit the headpin on the first ball, and it is going to stay that way. Off the side for six, a one pin lead, 30 to 29. Leaves the one, three, six, and nine. I believe he's waiting for a ball to come back. Junior, Eddie's a good pick. He's been bowling very well today. Lots of, lots of spare. Unfortunately, I believe my uh, dark horse has been eliminated. Yeah, mine was too. My dark horse was Matt Buckingham. Mine was uh, Winnie Shriver. Because oh, yeah. we, we had to go with dark horse because our, our main pick was always going to be Mark. Winnie was going to be Yeah, I mean, with, with Mark winning last month and shooting 1,047 this month, it's kind of hard to bet against him. Okay. Still waiting on a ball here on 21-22. It has just come back. Connor off the side in that 2 4 pocket, leaves the 1 3 6 9. He's got a one pin lead after two. And off the side, Why all the three pin? frames, and Why? is in the lead with three marks. Connor's performance so far in this match should serve as an inspiration to all you mixed league bowlers out there. You too can be on duck pins forever. <laughs> Third frame for Colby on lane 22, and thankfully gets rewarded for hitting the head pin, just a single pin up. Four pin up for Colby, he did miss a single last frame, that was the seven. And he has this one dead in the face. a lot off that ball. 
normally, and that's that's interesting you say that, normally he attacks the single pin. He actually throws at his singles and his two pinners a little harder than he does his first ball. So that is a lighter ball, too, that he's throwing for that he, single. He definitely took a lot off that ball. Yeah, his spare ball, I believe, is about like a 3.7, 3.8, and his first ball is a 3.12, so it's a pretty big weight difference. But I think... Uh, with the lighter ball, when he can just kind of attack it a little harder, throw it a little harder, it's got less chance to move, you know, one way or the other. Plus, on two pinners, uh, the lighter ball uh, will deflect. It'll deflect a little more, so you got a little better chance of uh, not picking it. But even despite that, he still does pick a lot of two pinners. He has a D'Antonis after all. Right, and we've been over this. The reason the D'Antonis pick so many two pinners is because they hit so many object pins. Is he okay? As long as he's standing. That's all I do today. I think someone else did. Yeah, that's a good story. He made a split. All right. Fourth frame now for Colby. We're having some slow ball returning issues here on 22, but the balls have come back now. Colby down one. Both bowlers on a spare. Takes a page out of Connor's playbook. Off the side for six. Leaves the bread line. One, two, four, seven. This will be tough with the lighter ball. That is why. Yep. The it's lighter exactly ball. Why. Can I get a replay? Too late. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come up, but we can try. Replay? Uh, Watch the ball deflect. The, the ball does deflect there. And does not carry the corner pin. Ends up with 10. 55 through 4. And Connor does eventually find the head pin and drills it for 9. Takes a 4 pin lead. 49, 45 through 3. Let's see. This is his first time shooting a spare this game that does not involve the head pin. No dice. Open frame. Mark streak stops at three. We'll have a narrow lead after four frames. Either 58 or 59 to 55. It'll be a three pin lead. 58 55. Fifth frame now for Connor. Ball in lane 21. Let's see if he can get back on the marks and back on the head pin. Off the side again. This time gets punished for it. Only the 2 8. See, that's how I feel. I'm glad I'm pretty real good. Wood ball for Connor. Takes just the head pin. Eight box. 66 at the half. Giving Colby openings like that's dangerous. Yes, Colby has to be able to walk through the door, though. The door has been wide open. Connor lucky to have the marks he has. Oh, Colby okay. catches a break, breaks up the two and one. It leaves a two pinner. Two four. <laughs> And Colby got, got it. Colby is going to take the lead after five. 66 for Connor Wiener, 65 plus a ball for Colby. Colby, a two time winner on the Pop Witten. Pro Tour, I believe he is, I believe he's the youngest ever to win on the Pop Witten. I believe he's the second youngest ever to win on any Pro Tour. I believe Jeff Piles was the youngest. That wouldn't surprise me. Um, someone someone fact-checked me on that, and Colby 
Hood was Jeremy when he won at Hands it back, 67 to 66. He's up one. And he makes the eight pinner. I need a replay on yeah, an eight pinner. Yeah, I can, I can we got a replay on eight pinner. He make it. He hit the wrong side of the head pin and still makes the eight pinner. Must be a DeAntonis. Look at that garbage. That's just wrong. Just that it's just wrong. Just a real, real professional shot right there from Colby. Let's see if Connor can answer. Well, Connor is going to have an opportunity to show Colby how to make the bread line. This has not been a great hitting the pocket match so far. Is that what we're calling it? Well, they're hitting, they are hitting pockets, just not the ones you're supposed to hit. Ooh. Connor slides by, and it is going to be advantage Colby D'Antonis. Connor with Wood will be down one and a hit. There is a wrong side if there's no pins over there. That is correct. Eight out. Eight out. Yep. Sorry, excuse me. Nine out. So it is 77 plus to 75. Connor down two and a hit. Now we were going over some terminology earlier. The, the phrase down a hit, for those of you that are new, means uh, the hit is referring to the bonus ball that Colby gets on the spare. Connor does not have that hit. Colby does. It means Connor is down a hit. Colby up a hit. Seventh frame. A wow. tidal wave strike, ultra light, ultra light on the one two pocket. And sometimes you can get some crazy stuff to happen when you just graze the head pin and catch that two five pocket. That's an example. That was a mess. An unconventional strike to go with the unconventional spares. See what Colby does here on his spare. Actually hits the pocket and gets punished for it. Light hit. 5-10 split. Up 10 through 6. 85-75. 5-10. I think you're going to get a reaction from the uh, gallery behind him if he makes this. Nope. Just takes the one. Maybe a smart play here. You want to make sure you hold the wood. Take one and one. Ten pin match. Connor now up a hit. 95-85. Colby will want to put up a mark here in the eighth frame to apply a little bit of pressure to Connor. Here we go. Light hit catches a better break this time. Shakes his head. No, that wasn't his best pitch. Six Still pin. thought it hit well enough. Yes, it mixed pins, and that's where Colby where Colby makes his pins there is because he's just got all that forward ball roll, all that, that snap at the release. That's what makes his pins. Looks, ooh, wide. Thought he had it. Another another example of the ball not checking up. Man, it looked weird out of his hand. Like it, like it went all, it rolled off his finger. Takes 10. The opportunity is there for Connor. Buddy he's up 25 and he's up about 50. Yeah. All right, this is a very ball. big ball in the match for Connor Wiener. Down 10, up a hit, on a strike. Actually hits the head. Beautiful ball for the six pin. The best yeah, that's the best ball he's thrown. That's the best ball he's thrown this match. Now he's going to have to throw his next best ball here. He needs the spare. At the six pin. Missed it. Just like Colby, wide right. And it is going to be razor thin margins yeah, headed like into the final two boxes. Connor threw a lot of that. I don't think he needed to chuck it out. And 50 miles. Has line. dropped another stick in wood. Down now two. down two. If this stays single digits after the end of this match, remember that wood ball. There was this wood ball here in the fourth frame as well. 
where he went nine on nine out. He did miss a single pin twice. Um, had he held both of those sticks, tie game. Colby, on the other hand, has not dropped a stick. Happens to be up by two. That third ball does matter. Ninth frame. Ah, through the middle, leaves the Dave Jones. Going oh. for it! Oh, wow. An extremely good attempt at the Dave Jones. Just misses the two pin. Needs to hold every stick and does. That was a phenomenal effort from Connor. Here, this match here it looks like some sounds of California. Uh -oh. Colby leaks it wide. Five. One, two, eight in the center. Six, ten on the right. This will be a very important shot if he makes it. If he does not, he's going to get every. He needs every stick. Uh oh. Ooh. Not the worst situation to be getting, in. Getting a nine count there, that's pretty important. At least nine. Uh, ten would be better. Um, you, 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 you have to force Connor onto a mark. Big pin there, let me explain why. Colby gets 19 in the tenth. Say a spare and a nine drop. That is a 134, forces Connor onto a double. So, nine count, nine count on the box, puts Connor on a mark, spare a nine puts Connor on a double. Here we go. Oh, I didn't like that. Through the middle, has to hold every stick. Connor has never been in a situation like this before. You want to force him onto a mark, see how he responds to the pressure. There is absolutely a psychological pressure here. Pushed it. Pushed it left. Needs everything he can get. Two of the bunch on the right. You got a possibility for a tie. Getting three. Sorry, getting all four on the right puts Connor on a mark. Only one? What a change of events. Connor needs nine. That's incredible. Connor needs nine for the box to win the match. And he gets there. Ends up dropping nine. That will do it. What a shocking, shocking conclusion to that match. Ooh. It's been a day of surprises. Yes. And I think that is... Just the next installment in the surprise collection. That is an incredible. I mean, the only way this gets weirder is if he hits the finish. Thing. Doesn't matter. Connor wanted it. He knows he. I, I don't think he knows he won. Yeah, I don't think he knows it because it originally said 22 for John until uh, Chris went up and fixed it. Connor wins by two, 123, 121. Absolute stunned silence in the bowling center right now. So I don't think anyone believes it. So how many stars are left? Uh, Eddie Darling might be the only one with stars left in the bowling anyway. I, Connor Wiener, your top right seed in match play is going to the semis. Oh, buddy one? Okay. Okay, I think that's probably... Alright, so they're just finishing up here. That might be one of the most shocking, shocking upsets. 